Okay guys, I thought I'd make a very brief video lesson on how to create and edit text files from the terminal. Now in an earlier video we discussed the touch command. Uh, touch followed by the name of a file, so file name, would create a file called, in this case, file name, and it would just be an empty document. It would be an empty text document. So I'm going to go ahead and create a file. So I'm going to touch space first.txt first.txt and if I do a ls command here it will list all the files in my desktop directory. The only file is that first.txt file that I just created with the touch command. Now let's read the first.txt file to see what's in it. You would do that with the cat command. Cat stands for concatenate so cat space first dot txt hit enter nothing is returned because it's an empty document nothing has been written to it to write something to the first dot txt if it's something simple say just one line of text you could use the echo command echo space single quotes and then I'm gonna type hello world exclamation in single quotes and then I need to write this with a single greater than sign, a single bracket to first.txt. Now when I run that cat first.txt command, you will see hello world exclamation point is returned. Now say I wanted to write several lines of text to first.txt. You would do that with the echo command too. Echo single quote, say first line, and then hit enter second line, hit enter, third line, and so on and so on, and then in the single quotes when you're done. And then, just as before, a single greater than sign, a single bracket, a single chevron, whatever you want to call it, first dot txt. Now when we cat the first dot txt file, you will see first line, second line, third line. You notice hello world is no longer there it got overwritten by first line, second line, third line. Now what if you wanted, instead of overriding what was already there, what if you just wanted to append something to the lines that are already there? Well, you do that the same way. Again, I'm just going to hit the arrow keys up on my keyboard and that last echo command comes right back up. And say I want to do fourth line fifth line, sixth line. Now with the single bracket here it's just going to overwrite the first line, second line, third lines from before. But if I do two brackets and direct it to first.txt, hit enter. When we cat first.txt, there you go. It appended the fourth, fifth, and sixth lines to the first, second, and third lines that were already there. Now using the echo command to write to a file is kind of crude and simplistic. It, it works for really short examples, short sentences. Uh, if you're editing a large amount of text, using the echo command in the terminal is, is not a very efficient way of writing to a document. You want something more substantial. You want a proper text editor. And in Linux, there are usually two text editors that are available to you in the terminal. The default text editor on every Linux machine, well I say it's the default, it's installed on every Linux machine. VI is installed on every Linux machine. I don't recommend as a new user you use the VI editor or in some cases it's the VIM editor, the VIM editor, VI improved is what VIM stands for. Vim is really for power users. It has a lot of uh, keyboard commands that are not very user friendly or intuitive. Uh, unless you've actually done some research on how to use Vim, when you launch Vim you're going to have no idea what you're doing. You're not even going to be able to write to a file or quit the Vim program because it's that non-user friendly. Let me put it that way. So most Linux distributions also include a second text editor that is much more user friendly and that it's usually set to the default text editor on your say Debian or Ubuntu machines for sure and that is Nano. 
So nano space first dot txt file. And here we have basically a proper text editor that works just like any text editor. You navigate around with the arrow keys. You can use the backspace to delete. You can write with the keyboard. Uh, at the bottom you have all your hotkeys. You know, everything is spelled out. How to exit the program, how to write to the file, how to cut text, paste text, uh, how to get to the previous page, the next page, etc. Nano is a very user-friendly text editor. Again, if you're a brand new user and you know nothing at all about VI or Vim, Nano is the text editor you need to use. Let me exit out of this. Control X exits out of this and asks me, do I want to save the file? Yes. I'm going to write it to first.txt. And if I ran that cat first.txt again, you would see that I did change the file. And uh, just for an example, I will launch Vim first.txt to show you how Vim works. Now, Vim looks like a text editor, which it is, but when you go and start playing around in it, you know, navigating around with the arrow keys, you get to the end of a line, say I want to delete the sixth line. You would think you would just use the backspace and it would start deleting text. It doesn't. Uh, you think you could just start writing text. No, you can't. Uh, you actually can't do anything in Vim when it's in what is called normal mode you have to change the mode to insert mode in Vim and unless you know what you're doing you have no idea how to get into insert mode I will help you out in case you ever accidentally load into Vim I gets to insert mode now we can actually you know delete stuff write stuff and how do you exit Vim and write to a file well you have to get out of insert mode first you have to hit escape twice to get back to normal mode and to exit Vim you need to hit the colon symbol Q to quit W to write oh, excuse me W to write Q to quit and then exclamation point and that saved it wrote it to the file and exited us out of Vim now if I cat first.txt again, you will see the changes I made in Vim also appear. But again, Vim is a real power users kind of text editor. I, I need to do some videos on Vim. Uh, there, Vim is a huge topic. It would probably take multiple videos to discuss Vim. So at first, for new users, stick to Nano. Peace, guys.